What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your second stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Wednesday, November the 18th. I have some amazing news today to share with you about the second stimulus package. We also have some great news regarding another state and local government providing additional $9,000 in stimulus checks for their residents. And I also want to remind you about the deadline to get your stimulus check if you haven't already. Those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today, but before we get started, be sure to like this video if you like this type of content. It definitely helps out a lot as it takes a lot of time to research this information and to provide a scaled down version to share with you guys. Also, if you want to be a part of this community, we would love to have you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Hey guys and happy hump day. We have another state and local government stepping up to the plate to help out Americans who are struggling right now. We have Philadelphia using some of that leftover CARES Act money to help its residents during these economic times. Philly has decided to use $30 million in federal CARES Act funding to provide assistance to renters and small businesses. The mayor of Philadelphia, Jim Keeney, said, while the virus pandemic continues to affect everyday life, we recognize that some of our most vulnerable communities need more help to pay rent in order to stay in their homes and our small businesses need continued support to survive. That's why this additional relief will be deployed as quickly as possible to prevent evictions and business closures and to protect those jobs. So they are expecting this new funding relief aid to allocate $20 million in rental assistance to eligible tenants who applied for the city's emergency assistance program called PHL Rent Assist Phase 2. They are projecting that this money could help up to 4,000 additional households that are facing rent deficiencies or evictions. This program has collaborated with renters and property owners to simplify the program and to make it much easier. If tenants are approved, they could receive up to $9,000 in rental assistance. Each eligible person that applies can get a one-time payment of up to $1,500 per month for a maximum of six months total, which comes to $9,000 in rental assistance. These are great things to hear state and local governments offering some of the leftover money from the CARES Act that was passed back in March, offering it to residents to give them a cushion through these economic times. Now, even though this is some great news, it's never enough relief to provide to all Americans who are suffering right now, but it's a great way to get started. I believe in help as many people out as you can, so that provides help for these renters. Now for small businesses, Philly has over 1,000 city businesses that have closed since the beginning of the pandemic and the city estimates that small businesses need around $300 million just to survive. The remaining $10 million will be distributed as grants to 1,500 city businesses through the Virus Relief Pennsylvania Statewide Small Business Assistance Program. The money will be distributed to renters and small businesses that are feeling the strain of the pandemic as it continues to cause havoc all over the world. So if you're interested and want to apply for either of these, I will include links down below in the description. Now in other news, earlier this week, uh, President-elect Biden pressed Congress to approve the $3.4 trillion stimulus plan known as the HEROES Act that was proposed back in May. The plan includes $1,200 direct payments, $600 in federal unemployment benefits, relief aid for state and local governments, and more funding for virus testing and contact tracing. We also had President Trump tweet a similar message that encouraged Congress to pass a big and targeted stimulus bill. Well, on Tuesday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell graciously criticized the Democratic stimulus plan a day after Joe Biden gave his first major economic speech. McConnell stated that House Democrats' so-called Heroes Act is so unserious that it was condemned by the Speaker's own moderate Democrats the instant she put it out. He said, huge tax cuts for rich people in blue states, but no second round of paycheck protection program? Those are their priorities, he asked. 
Well, we already know that Mitch McConnell is opposed to any type of stimulus bill that's more than $1 trillion. He would much rather have a targeted bill worth $500 billion instead. So his response to President-elect's request to pass the HEROES Act is no secret. Republicans have opposed the plan since the House Democrats passed it back in May, and there's little indication that it that will change. The GOP has called to pass a slimmer, skinny bill of $500 billion that includes small business assistance and health funds, as well as smaller relief aid in federal unemployment benefits. McConnell has stated several times that he doesn't believe the economy needs a large stimulus package, and he wants to approve a targeted bill that provides relief aid to people who need it the most. Right now, both sides stand far apart on the price tag of the second stimulus package, and it's unclear how both parties would bridge the gap between the two. America is counting on these politicians to get it done quickly as Congress is scheduled for another recess break next month. McConnell is the key negotiator right now as it comes to getting a stimulus deal as more people and businesses struggle to stay afloat. The virus cases continue to surge with more than 1 million cases reported in the last week. And as some cities and states have imposed new lockdown restrictions to prevent the virus spread. As time continues to tick, these things just continue to get worse. And the Democrats might have to settle for a smaller package in order to get some relief out now to the American people. We will continue to keep you updated on how all of this pans out. And last but not least, for those of you who have still not received their first $1,200 stimulus check or the $500 stimulus check for dependents, the deadline is just a couple of days away. The IRS is still reporting millions of people they believe that they still owe stimulus checks to that have not received them because of the IRS still doesn't have their information. The IRS is trying to give away this money and they are urging those who were excluded from receiving them should submit their information by November the 21st. So the deadline to submit your information is this Saturday by 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you miss that cutoff period, you may still be eligible to receive a tax credit when you file your taxes in 2021. So if you still haven't gotten your $1,200 stimulus checks or the $500 stimulus checks for dependents, the IRS wants you to use the non-filer tool on the irs.gov website before the cutoff date. I'm just surprised so many people still haven't received their stimulus checks. It's like they don't want this free money. Everybody wants free money, right? Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> Well, other than that, hey, this has been your second stimulus check update news for today. If you found value in this video, be sure to press the like button for me as it really helps out the channel. Also, if you want to become a part of this community, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.